Welcome to the 52 JavaScript projects and 52 weeks challenge. The project of the sixth week will be a number guessing game. All right, so the first thing you need to do is, of course, create your HTML structure, which looks like this. And next, you will add a div and also give this div an ID and name this ID container. Then open your div, add a paragraph, which is a p tag, and type something in like guess a number between 1 and 100. All right, next we need to create another paragraph, but this paragraph will have an ID which will be the output text. And inside this p tag, we will type in enter a number below. And beneath these paragraphs, we will add a input field. Um, and the type will be text. And the user, uh, the ID will be user input. All right, right next to this input field, we will add a button with the ID btn and we can type enter on this button or add enter to this button. All right, so if you save everything and reload it, it will look like this and we can can't do anything right now we, you can put something in but the functionality isn't there and as you can see there's also no styling that's why it looks so boring so we will first create um, a link our style and main.js file we do this by typing link rel style sheet and href for the source style.css and at the bottom of your body tag we will add a script tag with the source of the name of your JS file in my case is main it's main.js all right now you're finished with your HTML file and now we can style everything so first you will create a background color for um, the background, I guess. This is kind of a dark color, but it looks good, trust me. Next, we will need to access our container, and we do this by what's wrong? Oh, and we will do this by typing a hashtag and the ID name, which we um, typed in here. So we will give this container a background color of this wonderful color. Also, we will add a border of five pixel, which is solid and with a nicer color. And we will also add a height of 275 pixels and a width of 750 pixels also set the margin to auto and align the text to the center so what we have now is this beautiful thing next we will need to um, change the font color of course because you can't really see black on blue and this is what we do will do now so we will style the p tags and change the color to white which should fix all our problems wow nice and next we will style our input field by again accessing the id with an hashtag with a hashtag setting the width to 100 pixels then setting the margin to 25 pixels and auto 
also style the button and just give it a margin of 25 pixel auto 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 and 5 pixel and now wow this changed so much no but now um, it looks like this I mean we can increase the font size I guess font size I don't know 24 pixels maybe great this, this looks so good holy sh all right um, and now we only need to add the functionality because as you can see nothing happens so what we will do first is create two variables first the button variable and we will access our button inside of our HTML with this little line of code so and also do the same for the output file document dot get element by ID and type in the ID of your output field which was output text if I'm right yes it's output text next we will need to create a variable which just holds a number and we will name this variable number and immediately we'll add the math.floor method with the math.random function uh, method and multiply it by 100 because math random is a default one to uh, between zero and one math.floor um, rounds this number and if we, and if we multiply it by 100 we will get a random number from from zero to 100 and <clears throat> this will be the random number which will be displayed or which we need to guess i mean so when you load the page um there's just some random number assigned to the website so you can just enter a number and try to guess but of course it's not working because this was an example next we need to add the event listener and type and click comma function you already know how this works we did it for every single project and now comes the little tricky part first we need to get the input so create a new variable name it input and type in document dot get element by id and get the id user input which we declared here for our input field the input field is this thing and oh and behind all of this you will need to add dot a value this is so we can now only value this is so we can actually um, get the value the user submitted and next we will need to create an if loop uh, function and type an input equals number so what this does is it checks if input equals number so if the user inputs 50 and the random generated number was 50 then do this output dot inner html so we will output a text to our output diff which to our output text sorry it will appear here it will appear here yes so just type in you will need to use back ticks because we will um, actually display the random number and we can only do this with this um, with back ticks or we can type some really weird stuff with pluses and 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 quotes and stuff so we don't need it we just type in you guessed right comma your number was and now we type in dollar sign curly brackets and type in this variable so whenever you get the right number he will output a text exactly this one and will out also output the number which we correctly guessed and then we will put an else if statement onto this um, onto this uh, if statement and type in in if input 
is um, smaller than number output you guessed to low so what this does it it checks if your number that the user input input it is lower than the number which was randomly generated um, if this is the case then he will output this so just at just like above um, at this line we will just um, output a string now we can use the normal quotes and just type in you guessed to low and now you will create a new if statement you can probably do it better and easier but I'm a beginner so um, this worked for me so I I think it will also work for you so type in if input number is uh, if your if the user input is bigger than the randomly generated number output dot inner html you guessed to high and this is it now you only need to save everything hope you didn't do any um, mistakes and it should work so for example we will just type in 50 and it didn't work great but this is perfect so we can actually see where the problem was all right there is no problem <sighs> what did we do wrong um, SOC no this works output text maybe we <coughs> Oh, no. Um, hmm. So we have the button, the output, output text, which is right. We created the random number. Function is also right. Let input document get element by ID user input. User input. Hmm. Dot oh, is it because value was typed capitalized? It 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 really was this little mistake only because he corrected to know the value. For fuck's sake! All right, so we typed in fifty, and your guess was too low. So we will type in eighty. Also too low. So we will type in ninety. Also too low. Ninety nine too high of course 95 too high 93 too low holy shit it's 90 ni 94 hey you guessed right your number was and as you can see he outputs the number which was right so you actually have a confirmation that you guessed right so it worked and as you can see when we refresh this 94 is not the same number it was too high we can play this game again 60 too high 30 holy shit i'm so good you guessed right your number was 30. all right that's it guys thanks for watching if you like this video please leave a like and subscribe or comment down below and if you want to get the source code and build this project yourself or read this tutorial as a blog article visit my website learn-webdev.com link is in the description